My name is Gabrielle Strong and I am currently finishing up my residency here in Vernon at the Community Arts Centre. Her artist's residency might be over, but it's just the beginning for this Emily Carr graduate from Vancouver. She's spent the last several months living in Vernon as part of the unique partnership program. My residency is through a partnership between the Kaitani Cultural Centre and also the Arts Council of the North Okanagan and it's hosted here at the Vernon Community Arts Centre. Kaitani House hosts a lot of residencies all throughout the year, um, but they've never done a ceramics residency before, so I'm their first ceramics resident. My practice is really split between painting and ceramics. When I went to Emily Carr, I wanted to be a painter and that's what I went there for, um, but at Emily Carr they really make you and encourage you to take other disciplines and try other things. So I took a ceramics class and fell in love. And then by fourth year, you're really supposed to hone it down. And I had to wrestle with letting painting go because I, my heart was with ceramics. I probably would describe myself as a sculptural ceramicist. I work a lot with fabric and clay. So the latest stuff I've been working at is making molds with canvas. So I'm using the same canvas that I would paint on and stretch over a frame and I'm sewing it into sacks and using it as a mold for the porcelain. So I'm basically filling the sacks with clay and letting them take that natural sort of saggy form that the, the fabric has. And these are about the only three that have truly worked out. So with ceramics there's a lot of loss and there's a lot of trial and error and especially with this I found but I'm really determined to figure it out and keep doing it. To understand where Gabrielle's passion for art began, we need to back up a few years. I guess you could say I found my calling a little bit later in life. I was a crew officer on a cruise ship for about five years where I traveled to over 70 countries and we went all over the world. At the time I didn't know I was an artist. I always was artistic as a youth but I had sort of let that go and thought it was just a hobby. But just being a visual person, you know, all of those um, all that stimuli and photographs and experiences just kind of get logged in your mind and become sort of the catalog, you know, now. When she was back on land, she registered for an art class and soon became a full-time student. So I took a continuing studies course at Emily Carr for beginners of painting and um, I walked out of there that first class and I just knew. Gabrielle arrived in the Okanagan last June only expecting to stay until her residency was over, but she's now decided to make Vernon her home. I felt very welcomed since I've been here and um, encouraged. And turns out um, Vernon's really grown on me and I've had a really good time while I've been here. And um, good things have happened, so I've decided to stay full time and now I officially am a resident of Vernon.